Hey guys, how's it going? Tyler here. Um, so I haven't updated in a while. It's been pretty busy. I'm back at uni. I'm studying um, high school teaching again. So I'm going back to do my second year here in Canberra and I'm working as well. Um, so yeah, it's been pretty busy. This won't be an update video. I'll do one of those next month. Um, so that'll be 18 months. This one's just about like gender and sexuality and that sort of stuff. So for me, oh, also disclosure, trigger warning, whatever you want to call it. This one we'll be talking about sex and all that sort of stuff, relationships. So, if you're my family, please don't watch this. And also, if you're like not really good with all that stuff, flip away, it's all good. Um, yeah, so before I started hormones, I was into women. So, gay, straight, however you want to put it. I don't really like those terms because um, it's a bit just. It was just a bit hard. I don't, I don't label myself at the moment. Just mainly because I don't. It's very complicated. It's very complicated. Anyway, so and then once I started hormones, my sex drive went through the roof. I started looking at men more than women. Then I, I started looking at men. I hadn't before really, and um, even now I'm still trying to put my finger on it because. It's very complicated, and I think I've nailed it. I think I don't enjoy sex at all, so I think that I may be asexual, but I don't want to discredit anyone who is by saying that I am. I'm still trying to figure that aspect out. I just don't enjoy it, and I never have. So I think there's that, which is um really annoying when the sex drive just won't slow down and you don't enjoy it. It's really annoying. So there's that. Um, I don't mind being. I don't mind being with guys, but if I was to end up in a relationship, it would have to be with a woman. Um, and that's the thing. Like, I have never been in a serious long-term relationship with anyone. There was one girl in Germany that I was with. Um, and if we weren't thousands of kilometers apart, I'm pretty sure we'd still be together. But um, apart from that, I've never been in a serious long-term relationship purely because I personally, I find it hard to find, to uh, understand that someone would be willing to be with me and all my problems, like the fact that if you're a straight woman, well, I'm not going to be able to satisfy you in that way. And if you're a gay guy, again... I don't really have what you're after. Um, and also, like, I, I suppose someone who's, like, bi or pan or something would be able to go with me. But I personally just always... Excuse the background noise. <laughs> My neighbours are pretty loud. Um, I always... That's the reason why I ended my last relationship was because I just felt like I wasn't able to give her what she wanted. I know it's very stupid, but in that sense, I'm very insecure. And I'm, I'm not heavily dysphoric at all. But when I'm in a relationship, I am very dysphoric. Because I just am always constantly thinking, I am not... I was never born male, and I am not what you are after. So in terms of that, it's very annoying. But um, I think, yeah. And the other thing is... I don't like sex, but I need it, and um, unfortunately if I was to marry someone who is who identifies as female, I wouldn't be satisfied with that, so whatever relationship I do get into would need to be an open relationship, and to me sex and love are two completely different things, like I wouldn't care if the person I was with went and slept with 400 other people. That's a, that's a large number, I don't know why I preached that number, but I wouldn't care if someone I knew, when I slept with 400 other people, if they, I don't know, as long as they come back to me at the end of the night, as possessive as that sounds, like, it's just sort of whoever's bed you end up in at the end of the night is what matters for me. Um, yeah, I don't know, but I thought I had it all figured out, and then I started hormones, and everything got real flipped, and now I'm very confused, and I'm still trying to figure it all out. But, um... That whole thing of like, did, did hormones change my sexuality? 
Well, yeah, sort of it did. Like, it made me consider other options which I hadn't done before. Um, yeah, which is for sure. And it's also opened my eyes to how horrible Grinder is, honestly. It is... It shows some of the worst, worst of humanity on that on that app, honestly. Um, but yeah, it's it's a battlefield. It's it's probably one of the best ways to put it, um, unfortunately. But I, I I knew what I was signing myself up for. But hey, what can I do? Um, it's just annoying because I'm sort of like before I started Hormone Two, I'm like, no, I don't want to have kids. I never want to have kids, so I didn't bother freezing my eggs. Also, I didn't have the money to freeze my eggs. Um, but now it's sort of like, oh, I wish, I wish I have a kid. But I don't know. I'll see. I'll see how it goes. Hey, you could get to grow up sometime. Anyway, guys. Um, yeah. So that was that. I will be back. Um, in a, probably a month, with um an update video. 